So I am now officially a full-time software engineer. Hooray! But before I got my current job, I tried quite a few different jobs. As my first ever proper job, I was a personal banker for a summer. Because I was studying economics and everyone who studies economics wants to work in finance, I was very much in the banking path. And I also did a six month placement as a corporate banker again back in Finland. And I absolutely hated both of those internships. So I was like, well, what am I going to do now? I've also ended up working as a management consultant at McKinsey. And through all of these experiences, I have had to really think about and I've been able to really learn about what are the sort of categories and qualities that the perfect job for me has. And I believe that now with software engineering, I have finally found a career that meets all of these points. So in this video, we're gonna go through the seven reasons why software engineering is the perfect job for me, but also in general. You're obviously aware software engineers get paid really well. There will always be a lot of people who say like, well, money doesn't matter to me. But I mean, come on, we all, given the chance, would choose to work a job that pays us more money. Because why wouldn't you? Money allows you to do a lot of things. It allows you to build yourself a life that you cannot have otherwise. And perhaps more importantly, the more money you make, and as long as you know how to save money, the quicker you're gonna get to the point where you have so much money that maybe you don't even need to work anymore if you don't want to. So really, no matter how much you actually care about a nice lifestyle or anything, making more money is always a worthwhile goal, in my opinion. You might as well, right? The big picture, if you wanna make a lot of money, you wanna do something that influences a lot of people and creates a lot of value. And in society, it's just a fact that every skill and every job does not create the same amount of value. Therefore, some industries and some careers pay more than others. Because of the prevalence of technology, if you have those skills, if you know how to code, you are going to be able to provide a lot of value that influences a lot of people in this world. And therefore, because your skills are in high demand and in low supply, because learning to code is hard, you're going to be paid a lot. And that is just about all the economics that I can remember from my economics degree. Please leave a like on this video so that at least I can say that my economics degree was useful somewhere. But the thing is, the money that you can make with coding while working as a software engineer is only the tip of the iceberg. And if you watch till the end, until point seven, I'm gonna talk about exactly what I mean by that. The thing with money is that the sort of counter argument that a lot of people give against working in high paid industries is that where's the point in making money if you actually never have the time to spend that money. And that's really the crux of the reason why I wanted to get out of banking and consulting as fast as possible. Those people work insane hours. When I was at McKinsey, I was working until 10 p.m every single day. Which brings us to point number two about software engineering, which is that software engineers actually have a very nice lifestyle and very chilled out work-life balance because your skills are in such high demand. And quite frankly, companies cannot force you to do that because there is so much demand for your skills that if some company was making people work until 10 p.m., those people could just leave and go work for someone else. The Google guy and the McKinsey guy are gonna be paid Roughly the same, probably, in long term. Although to be fair, with all the stock options and everything, the Google guy is probably gonna make even more. The major difference between these two people is that the Google guy is going home at 5 p.m., 6 p.m. every single day. Whereas the McKinsey guy is out there sweating, making PowerPoint slides until 10 p.m. Or if you're an investment banker or a lawyer, good luck trying to get six hours of sleep every single night. If you're loving what you're doing, then I guess it doesn't matter. But for most of us, we actually wanna do other things, right? And this also brings us to point number three is the culture. I worked in all sorts of different working cultures. And obviously all of this depends on the company, but in general, tech companies really work hard to have a really good culture. People are always really nice. The work life and the culture is a lot less formal than many of these other industries. And even at our company, which is a massive company, our tech division, so our digital division, we have our own new office coming, which is gonna be very akin to like the Google offices and all of those, uh, the open office layout, if that's something that you're into. Again, working for a tech company is where you want to be. So money is important, lifestyle is important, but obviously the most important part about your job is the actual work that you're doing. If you cannot see yourself 
enjoying coding, don't become a software engineer. Like even with all of these, all these benefits, all this money, if you cannot ever see yourself enjoying coding, you shouldn't become a software engineer. However, I would say like for me, the type of work I do when I'm coding is a lot more intellectually stimulating and a lot more challenging in the ways that I enjoy being challenged in, if that makes sense. Because coding to me is logic at its purest form. So if you are the type of person where you enjoy logical problem solving rather than let's say creative problem solving that you do as a consultant making slides for example, then I would definitely say that software engineering is the absolute best career for you because your literal job is to solve logical problems. That is all that coding is when you really boil it down. So if you are the type of person that I am that enjoys that, then software engineering is the absolute best job in the world. And it's very rewarding as well, because as we've discussed, coding is the most in demand skill in the world. So whatever you're doing, you know that you are creating something valuable, unless you're working for like a gambling company or something. Don't work for a gambling company. Point number five, I put job safety and future proofing. We obviously don't just want to build a career and skills that are relevant now. We want to build skills that are going to be relevant throughout our careers. The prevalence of technology is only going to keep going up in the future. And sure, we've got like AI and machine learning. If you look into actually where AI is, we're actually very far away from sort of general AI that's gonna be able to solve any problem. And when it comes to coding, a lot of the job is not actually just writing out functions to do something. It's translating human requirements from what the client wants or what your company wants to create into code and I just strongly doubt that we are going to be able to create this general AI that can take a human input and transfer it into code in exactly the way that the client wants anytime soon. And if anything, the software engineering industry is growing even faster than it has before because there's even more technology being created, even more other industries being digitally transformed. This is like a huge trend in so many industries. The demand for software engineers is only going to go up in the future, in my opinion. If you take a step back and look at the big picture, sort of what we discussed is that coding in general in the world is arguably the best way to create value in the world and therefore make a lot of money. And when you're working a job for a company, that company is making even more money from your output than what you're making because they obviously have to do that. Otherwise they'd be making a loss. So if you think about it in the big picture, the absolute best way for you and in general, the best way to actually get rich is not to work any job. It's to become an entrepreneur. And entrepreneurship is absolutely not for everyone because it doesn't require a lot of risk and there is a very good chance that you're gonna make absolutely nothing. But if you do want to actually make this serious money, you want to ask yourself, what are the skills that you would need to do that? And you might think that those are skills like consulting skills or business skills in general or something. And obviously those are important but because of the fact that most companies today are technology companies, right? It's sort of helpful if you actually know how to create that technology. So that is why in this day and age, a lot of the entrepreneurs that we see like Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, they are engineers. This day and age, the people making a lot of money, the people creating value in the world are people who can create something, people who can engineer some solution to some problem. And obviously even beyond this, there's so many more avenues for people to make money with coding. You might become a freelancer where instead of working for a company, you are doing a lot of small projects or more broadly a contractor, which is something that's very common here in the UK. Or you can talk about coding and make videos about it on YouTube. But that brings us to the next point, which it, wait, sorry. Or is some annoying salesman? Look, you need to listen to me. They found you. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Who's they? The bankers. You've been slandering them oh. the whole video. What do I need to do? You need a secure connection. Quickly, go to nordvpn.com slash internet encoder. Uh, wait, 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 slow down. How does a VPN actually work? And I still don't quite understand why I should use one. A good VPN service provides you a secure encrypted tunnel for online traffic to flow. Nobody can see you through the tunnel, get their hands on your online data, or find your real IP address and location. So it basically hides you. Gotcha. Okay. So essentially, if I use a 
VPN, no one can track my browsing or find my IP address, essentially. Yes, exactly. Okay, right. But what about stuff like malicious files? I heard that's also a common strategy that they might use. That is exactly why NordVPN recently introduced the threat protection feature, which automatically scans your files before you download them, identifies threats, stops you from landing on malicious websites, and much more. It's all included, and all you have to do is just turn it on. Okay, okay, okay. How do I sign up again? And this won't take a long time, right? Because if they're coming, I want to be protected like instantly. It will take no time at okay. all. Just go to nordvpn.com slash internet encoder and you can get four months free with a two year plan. And in case anything goes wrong, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like use it all the time now. I'm doing a speed test and it's like super fast as well. Thank you so much. I didn't catch your name, who were? Thank you for NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I've personally been using NordVPN for the past six months. If you're serious about your privacy, a VPN is just a thing that you want to have. And NordVPN is one of the best in the industry. So go grab your four months free of the two year plan by going to nordvpn.com slash internet encoder today. But obviously after all this, the overarching reason, the number one reason why you should become a software engineer, is I think coding is quite fun. It's a very fun skill and I used to be a video gamer and I also used to love playing chess. But the thing with coding is that I can essentially activate that same part of my brain that really loves improving at something and sort of and pursuing goals and pursuing improvement in some craft while at the same time creating value for society with coding. I can do that. And I view improving myself as a software engineer and as a programmer like a video game, like I'm the main character in my own video game and I'm trying to improve all of these skills. And obviously this is even more broadly in my whole life. I'm trying to improve myself in all sorts of different ways, but improving at coding is at the same time really fun, really engaging, and also extremely valuable and extremely lucrative in the long term. So that is really why I believe that software engineering and any tech job in general is the best career in the world. If you enjoyed this video, if you resonated with any of these points, definitely leave a like down below in this video because that will mean that this video is going to be shown to more people on YouTube. So in that way, we can all together spread the good word of coding and of becoming a software engineer so that hopefully some of those people sweating away in some office, in some bank doing Excel can find this and also join us becoming software engineers instead. I'm gonna get so much hate from all the bankers and the consultants who have essentially been thrashing for this whole video. That's gonna be very fun. Now that I am a full-time software engineer, there are a lot more videos coming up on what life as a software engineer is actually like, everything that I'm learning along the way, as well as actually showing you what it's like to do this job. Uh, so if you wanna see any of that, subscribe down below for more videos. I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.